Hello and welcome to Raven and Rose. This is my Goddess Hades tutorial video. Uh, as you can see, I have completely blocked out my shoulders in uh, like a dark grey. That would have been an extremely long video to show you that, so I've cut that right down. I'm also painting my left hand grey. And then I'm going in and sponging on a light blue to give the overall effect of a little bit of depth. Um, and to uh, get the colour that I really wanted. Taking that blue down to my shoulders, making sure it's in my ears, trying to get an even of coverage as I can. Okay, and then I went in with a blue shadow just to set all that face paint otherwise I would be sticking to everything as I was moving around. Okay, so I've already popped my red contact lenses in because I know that freaks some people out. And I'm going in with the brows. Uh, the brows I want to be quite sharp. God, it's Hades. Goddess of hell. Um, I've gone quite slowly on this bit because I made a mistake and I want to show you how I fixed it. So, yeah, take your time on your brows. There's no rush. And sometimes you don't realise you're not happy with one brow until you've done the other, which is what happened in this case. So I just used a wet cotton bud or Q-tip and wiped the offending piece of material away. And then with that same sponge, I just sponged on the blue again and it's almost invisible. Just redefining the edges there before I go in with a dark colour because um, I felt that Hades needed some more fierce eyebrows. Okay, so I've super sped this bit along because you don't want to watch me put eyebrows on again and again and again. Now I'm using some black face paint to shade in my cheeks to make them look a little hollow and almost a little skull-like. Um, I'm going to bring that down to my jawline and then blend it in. And then again, just using a slightly damp sponge to blend that in and bringing it up towards my forehead as well, just a little bit. You can keep adding as you like, which is what I've done, um, until you get the desired shape and shade that you're looking for. See, I did this several times until I was happy with how it looked and brought that up onto my forehead as I would normally contour. Then bring it down onto my neck uh, and into my collarbone to create a little bit of shading there because you can see that above the dress that Hades wears. Hades, Hades S, Hades S's. Goddess, Hades. Okay, I'm using what's left over on there to go on my inner eyes 
and then just trying with a straight edge and sniffling to get uh, the start of my contour for my nose. It's quite a straight, pointy nose. And then again, add into that contour where I want it while I've still got the product on the sponge. So I've got my size zero brush here and I'm putting some straight black uh, face paint on there to try and create that smaller nostril area. And then try as hard as I can to go as straight as I can. And then I just add a little water to the brush rather than more product um, just to smudge it out a little bit and then I use the power of my finger okay so once that's dry I'm going in with a little bit of black shadow just to set the area and I'm also adding a little bit of that black shadow right up to the top of my inner eyebrow if that makes sense. Okay, so starting on the eyes, I'm starting on the outside of the eye and bringing it towards the inner lower corner. And then I'm going to pull that up right to the outer corner of my eyebrow because I want the intensity to be on the both the inner corner and the outer corner of my eyebrow. Again, it gives the, the illusion of, of deepening the look and making it a little more school-like with the socket. As always you'll try and even them up as you go along but like eyebrows they are sisters not twins so don't expect perfection I'm going in now with a blending brush and I'm just moving the product around a little on my lid and just blending it lightly on my upper brow area because I don't want to lose that dark depth that I have on the inner and outer corner and then going in on the areas that I've shaded on my face with the little bit of powder that's left over and that just deepens that shade, makes it a little more, it softens it out a little bit and makes it a little more natural looking. As natural as having a black cheekbone and collarbone can look. Okay, so I'm going in with a blue on my lid Quite a shiny blue, it's a lovely blue. I think this one's from the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveller palette. I'll have to double check. Um, but I'm trying to focus it on the eye socket itself. And then shading it in with the uh, adding a little bit of sparkly, shimmery, I 
shadow to the inner corner of my eye to open my eyes up. And you've seen me apply eyeliner like a bajillion times now. So I've sped through it but kept it in. Okay, so on my inner eyelid, I'm actually applying a red. If I'd thought on, I would have applied a red um, lip liner before I applied the, it's actually blusher I'm applying to the area. Um, but yeah, I would have applied a red, a really strong red lip liner. And then this, I think that would have given a much more intense look. As always, quick curl of the brow quick curl of the lashes before you apply a couple of coats of mascara both sides of your lashes and lower lashes too for this look Okay, then I'm going in with a bit of a shimmer um, just underneath my eye area, probably going over the areas that you'd usually put, put your highlighter on, uh, but missing a few of those areas out. Um, I applied a little bit too much on that side, so I tried to use that on the rest of my face rather than add more. So yeah, so the shimmer under eyes, on your forehead between your eyebrows, down your nose, chin, upper lip area, and also on just below where I've shaded my cheekbones to make them pop. one and again you've seen me apply lashes loads of time so I've left it in but just sped the process up as always apply your glue to your lashes and let it sit there for 30 to 45 seconds before you even contemplate trying to put them on and I went with thick lashes on the bottom as well and then on to applying my lipstick I'm just extending the line of my lips somewhat so that I can when I put my grin in it looks a bit more because I have very thin top lip and I've not been blessed with the widest of lips either. A rosebud mouth. That's what I'm going to call it, a rosebud. So just filling in with um, dark shadow underneath those lashes and adding a few smudges because obviously I can't see a single wrinkle on my face so I need to add them on. Um, then adding to my eyebrows to let me look a bit cross on with the wig which I think looks gorgeous and then start painting on my dress now I have a little bit of a shake to my hands <laughs> as you can see so this took me quite a while um, yep just splodged that there for the fun of it but as with everything, you can tidy it up. I went back in, back in with that grey that I'd used on my body and tried to tidy it up best I could. And then adding in the little triangle detail that Hades in the Disney movie has on the top of his robe, which I am now making into my dress. So little triangles all the way along. And then I'm filling in and shading in with a lighter blue than I have on my face. 
and body and I'm just shading that not covering the whole area and then going in again with the black and tidying up you can see the concentration on my face okay and I've done this dress as kind of a ruched from one shoulder to the other so one side it's quite uh, it's total coverage and the other side you can see it's just a little bit up on my arm and then I'm using the black shadow again to go in and the areas where I didn't paint I'm just adding a little bit more shadow again trying to make this look as realistic as I can I'm an expert at shading by no sense of the word but I did my best so now little skull man a uh, little skull clip that he has on his robes so first of all going in with a uh, pure white which inevitably got mixed in with my other colors so I had to wait a little while in between layers so that I could reapply just shading around the edges, trying to make it stand out a little, and add the details that I need to. So, a couple of little tiny eyes, and then it's just redefining the shape around the skull area at the bottom before adding in the teeth. And a little bit more shading. And then I'm just going over my lips again, just to make sure I've got that little grin type look. As Hades is quite cocky and he has a bit of a cool grin going on, so I'm just pulling the line at the edges up. smile in place. In with the fangs. And then I'm just popping a line of highlight on my bottom lip. And this is the finished look. As you can see, I've painted my nails to look like they're kind of gross. And I'm holding my hand up <laughs> because I wanted to place a fireball in my hand in After Effects. So that's why I'm trying to just, just figure out which way I want to hold my wrist there to get a fireball-like cup. So there's the finished look. Now obviously Hades has orange eyes so I had to do a little jiggery pokery with the eyes when I put the fireball in the hand and I think that looks awesome so everything's listed below a thumbs up would be great a subscribe would be awesome and I'll see you soon thank you